So after OMAD, I, after the intermittent fasting, I um, discovered breatharianism. I was listening to Ellie Tom Elamine on YouTube. And so I, I said, this is it. This is going to be the one because you don't have to eat. You can live off the sun. When I don't eat, I feel great. No one can convince me anything else. My, I told my husband, I was like, I'm going to be a breatharian. I'm never going to eat again. But I was going to take the steps to be a breatharian. So I was going to, um, I was doing the OMAD. I switched from OMAD to alternate day fasting. So I had a meal on one day. I didn't have a meal the next day. Meal another day. I didn't have a meal another day. And then I was going to switch from that to eat in every two days. And then to every three days and to every week. And then to every, once every two weeks. I was feeding myself outside with because I live in Mexico, so I would just go outside and I was convinced that the sun was going to feed me. And then um, I just ended up coming across Dr. Ken Berry's video one day, right next to um, Ellie Tom, well, in the recommended section when I was looking for more breatharian stuff. So I clicked on Dr. Ken's video and he was talking about this all meat based diet. And at first, I think I clicked off of it because I was like, this is absolutely fucking crazy. I'm, I'm a breatharian um eating meat is gonna bring me all the way down like I was I was into vibration and frequency I was before starting carnivore I was actually ridiculously um convinced that everything was spiritual so if I eat the animals then I'm gonna be low vibrational I'm gonna be full of fear I'm gonna be full of hatred and you know all of that anxiety and stuff so I clicked off of it but and then like a day later I got curious because I'm a very curious person so I went back and I I basically binge watched all Ken Berry's videos and then I was like, okay, this makes sense. This makes scientific sense. It makes biological sense. Um, but I still didn't try it. I just, it, it's like I couldn't hear it up until recently. It's like I was listening. No, it's like I was hearing it, but I wasn't really listening to it. So then um, I was getting worse and worse and worse because after being a breatharian for a couple of days and going back to eating the normal food, it's like, like you do with carnival, you develop these sensitivities. It's like I was developing sensitivities to these foods that I was really trying to wean myself off of. So when I went back to eat them, I got worse. So then eventually, um, that was like the end of last year. And the beginning of this year, I said to myself, January 1st, I'm going to be a carnivore. I'm going to start carnivore. And because I'm very extreme with everything, I thought I'm just going to just go straight from uh, what I was doing to eat in carnival but I didn't I said okay look be uh, realistic this time take it slow so I just cut things out of my diet first I cut out the donuts and the sweets and the really unhealthy junk foods and the, the chips and the crisps and then I cut out around February the potatoes I cut out the potatoes was my favorite like root vegetable um and I would just eat like potatoes with chicken. That was my healthy balanced diet. I don't, never liked vegetables. I always hated vegetables, it made me sick. So I cut out the vegetable, I'm um, sorry, the potatoes in around February. And then in March, I cut the beginning of March, around the 1st of March, I cut out the bread because I was having meat filled sandwiches, but I was having bread. So it was bread and then nine grain bread and then the meat in the middle. I said, okay, one day, no bread. And then I think, I, I think that was around the 3rd of March or something like that so I just it hurt me a lot I took the bread off I was like okay just eat the meat just me I tricked myself I was like just today just today no bread let's see how it goes so then I just ate the meat and the next day I did the same thing I said okay no more bread today you can go back to it whenever you want still in the cupboard just just eat the meat and the second day I ate the meat and then the third day I woke up feeling well I was watching Netflix and then I realized my mind was really clear and I wasn't sad I wasn't depressed I was like, oh, two days of eating meat with no bread and I feel great. And what was in the bread was some um, bacon from Costco, some chicken um, and some, you know, the packaged ham and stuff like processed ham and stuff. So, yeah, um, after day three, I realized the depression went. I was like, oh, OK, I tricked myself into carnivore. And I just from then it's been the same. I went out, I went shopping. I went to Cali Max and on my way to Cali Max, I planned to make this big shop because I planned to still eat all the foods I wanted to eat. But then when I got there, I said, no, don't get anything that is not carnivore today. Just today. I had to keep telling myself it's just for today. So then I did a shop. I went, I got some steaks, I got some eggs and I got some stuff for my son. Um, and then I walked out the shop with no non-carnivorous foods. I went home and that's where the journey began, beginning of March. And I just tricked myself into being carnivore and it's been history since then.